Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I had a dilemma today. I was either debating whether I should watch old Beetleborgs episodes or do another review. Ultimately, I chose to do another review. So, who am I reviewing, you ask? If you cannot tell, this is... Hold on, I'll get it. I'm, I'm working on it. This is Hunt for the Decepticons. Insecticon. Yes, I finally got the name right. Yay! Okay. As you can see, he is a six-legged freak. Not to be confused with the eight-legged freaks. This is a whole new race of freak. Well, actually, this is the pre-evolved version of the eight-legged freak. But, you get the idea. So, he is a, as you can see, he is a bug of some kind. So, now that we got introductions out of the way, let's get him transformed. Hey, my camera fell. Awesome. Now you can't see it. Now you can, sort of. Oh, that's better. Sort of. Let me... There we go. That's much better. Okay. So, what we first want to do, we want to take these, bring them to the back, like that. Then you take this whole section, flip it around, like so. Come in here, fold out the head, then you can drop just uh, decompress all that crap. So his insect head becomes the chest of his robot arm. A la Beast Wars! Anyone? Whatever. And then we rotate the head. Oh, that is his head. Never mind. Come down here. Bring the legs. Like so. Rotate them. Rotate the feet out. Bring down the heel. No, don't rotate the feet. Do you rotate the feet? I think you rotate the feet. Okay. Rotate the feet. Bring out the heel. And your. Just bring down the wings and just situate the arms however the hell you want. <laughs> there we go. Get him to stand. Again. Come on. Work with me. Work with me, darling. Work with me. It's perfect. Okay. You can't see that. And I am a terrible camera motivator. Uh, hey. Move this over here. Can you see him? You can see him better, sort of. That's kind of crap. Okay, there he is. There he is. Here he is. This is Insecticon in robot mode. Now, articulation he is very good. The legs can go all the way up. Look at that. That's awesome. Can go back. Uh, can bend at the knee, can rotate at the upper leg, and the feet have posability. All the arms can 
rotate full 360. Uh, they can bend at the uh, bend at the elbow. And none of their uh, um, well, thing. None of his fingers move, and he has four fingers. Four arms equals four fingers. What's kind of neat is that uh, these things pop out. That's not what I meant. These things can also rotate as well. But be careful. Like you just saw, they pop out. Hey, what's neat is that if he falls over, he's got his arms to balance him on. Okay, that was my review on Antecticon. Uh, I'm going to say it right off the bat. I'm not as impressed with him as I thought I would be. He's an okay figure. He's not great. He's meh. Nothing. There's nothing really interesting about him. I mean, okay, he's a, he he transformed into a four armed. Uh, he's got a four armed robot mode. That's that's pretty cool. You gotta admit that is pretty cool. I'll admit that. As for everything else, and his pos his possibility is awesome. His possibility is awesome, but. It's just something about him. I mean, it. Eh. Oh, and his head gets the full 360 thing. You guys all know my opinions on that. So, that's what's my review on Hunt for the Decepticons Insecticon. You know. I might do another review later on. I don't know. Seeing as how this one was a bit lackluster, I wasn't really into this review. Uh, you know, he was just one of my new figures that I that I had gotten that I hadn't reviewed yet. I've already reviewed uh, uh, Terra Dive, uh, Skullgrin, and he was the only one I hadn't reviewed yet. Now I have. So now I can do whatever the hell I want. And I think I will. So... You'll just have to stay tuned and find out what that is. Okay? So, as always, rate, comment, you know, do your stuff. And I will see you guys later. Take care.